Oh, hello, little fellas. It's me, Simon. You missed me? Well, I'm back. Again. So, I have been abundant for a few months now. Not just in YouTube, but also on Instagram. And no, I haven't been dead, and I haven't lost my camera operating hand either. There was a whole lot of stuff going on. Vacation at Lake Arda, for example. My plans on YouTube. Yeah, I can clearly remember the days back then. I got all this fancy gear stuff and wanted to become a photographer, freelancer and a YouTuber. At least on part time, besides my job. But then, boom. So, what happened? Mm, basically, I crushed a bit. <laughs> Not like that. Back in those days, there actually hasn't been anything that kind of felt even close to being good, okay, right, whatever you want to call it. I had no drive, I had no motivation, my creativity was gone. Not completely, it was a few things that I filmed, but I wasn't happy with anything. It was the day-to-day -day life that went kinda odd. And it wasn't like a deep down depression kind of situation, but everything had this bad taste to it. Nothing felt right. And please don't get me wrong, of course, I wasn't just miserable and bad mooded. There were fun times, happy times, a happy me. I mean, summer in general, it's great. And then there was like Garda, of course. All nice and good, but the problems were still remaining. In order to get me back on track, I kind of looked everywhere, but didn't do anything about it. But then, one day, while binging through the entire YouTube library, I stumbled on Matt Diavella. So, Matt Diavella is a filmmaker in Los Angeles, and he's someone who calls himself a minimalist. If you haven't seen some videos of him yet, definitely recommend it, go check him out. And it's the minimalist part that took a hold of me. I basically took a month and binged through all his content, maybe more than just once. And after that, well, I took action. I kind of wanted to be a minimalist myself. First step, decluttering. I went through every little storage space in my apartment and started to declutter. <laughs> went so far that I actually got rid of furniture, like the second desk that I bought, to put it right next to my main desk. Thinking about it now, it probably was a really stupid idea to get a second desk in the first place. Quoting my best friend Francesco, who recently had his birthday, you keep going like this, your apartment will be empty by Christmas. But this certainly isn't the point. So minimalism isn't about having as least items or material objects as possible. It is more about finding out what is right for you and what you need and what you just own because you get a lot of value out of that. It's about to be more conscious of what you purchase. So for me basically, is it something that I need in my daily life or that is really important to me? It's camera gear. So it's more about enhancing your inner self and getting rid of everything that stands in the way. Really? You stupid brand name set? What the f I know, I know. But can someone change? Can someone just try to keep doing better? The goal of that in the long run? Finding inspiration and motivation and getting my creativity back. It's not like I haven't filmed anything in the last few months. I've written some scripts, filmed for a few projects, but I was never closing in. It means 
I never uploaded because I never finished the project. There are more things I want to change, but in the first place I want to make time and find something that I can do here on YouTube. I enjoyed it back in the days and I want to have this enjoyment back in my life. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I kind of refuse to say more is to come because when I usually say that there isn't coming anything in a few months. So I'm not going to say it. I couldn't decide how to end the video so I just um, I just leave it.